वीडियो लेक्चर नंबर सिक्सटीन टू पॉइंट टू इंडियन वीवर्स बाय सरोजिनी नायडू हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड डियर फ्रेंड्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई डिस्कस्ड द आइस ब्रेकर्स ऑफ द पोएम इंट्रोड्यूस्ड यू द पोएट सरोजिनी नायडू and introduced you the poem indian weavers today too i will continue with the same poem indian weavers by the poet sarojini naidu and i will discuss the poem line by line in detail but before that i would like to revise certain important points about the poem in my last video lecture i had already explained you all these points but for your better understanding of the poem once again i revise them for you the poem indian weavers consists of three stanzas these three stanzas highlight the three stages of human life itself like the birth that is the childhood the adulthood that is the young age and death that is the old age these three stages of man's life are symbolized through the weavers creations in this poem this poem has been structured in question answer pattern the poet asks three questions to the weavers and the weavers answer them accordingly three stanzas of four lines in each are in the form of questions and answers now the theme of the poem the theme of the poem indian weavers is the cycle of life the weavers use the colors associated with the birth marriage and death through weaving clothes for a newborn a queen bride and a dead man friends now we'll discuss the poem line by line so open your textbook of english and see the poem on page number 100 or you can also read the poem on the screen in front of you now i start the reading of the poem and its explanation line by line indian weavers weavers weaving at break of day why do you weave a garment so gay break of day break of day means beginning of the day or morning here in the first stanza the poet asks the weavers why they are weaving very beautiful and charming clothes early in the morning blue as the wing of a halcyon wild we weave the robes of a newborn child robes robes means a dress covering the whole body or the clothes covering the whole body halcyon halcyon is other name of kingfisher 
a bird which has bright colorful plumes blue as the wing of a halcyon wild we weave the robes of a newborn child here the indian weavers or the weavers reply the poet that they are weaving the beautiful bright blue clouds like the wing of a halcyon or a kingfisher for a new born child now here halcyon is the other name of the bird kingfisher the the wings of kingfisher are bright blue in color in addition blue color symbolizes loyalty something beautiful and precious hence in this stanza the clothes weaved by the weavers are quite special and very precious as they are meant for a newborn child in this stanza various images like break of day garments so gay blue as the wing of halcyon wild are used to describe the first stage of human life this first stage is full of happiness freshness hope beauty etc there is no sorrow in this stage this all is indicated by the bright blue clouds that the weavers are weaving for a new born child now the next stanza weavers weaving at fall of night why do you weave a garment so bright fall of night means evening time beginning of night weavers weaving at fall of night why do you weave a garment so bright in this second stanza again the poet finds the weavers weaving the clothes in the evening when the sun sets and the darkness covers the earth she asks the question to the weavers why they weave a very bright garment like the plumes of peacock and green we weave the marriage veils of a queen now plumes means soft feathers and marriage veils means the fine clothes worn by a woman to protect or conceal the face like the plumes of a peacock purple and green we view the marriage veils of a queen here the viewers reply the poet that they view bright purple and green marriage veils like the plumes of a peacock for a queen this refers to the second stage of human life that is the adulthood that is the young age during this stage the humans are quite active they love each other get married and quest for a better and prosperous life the colors purple and green symbolize sorrows and happiness or struggle and ease in one's adulthood stage these all colors are ups and downs of life 
make the adulthood bright now the final stanza weavers weaving solemn and still what do you weave in the moonlight chill now solemn solemn means serious still means quiet silent weavers weaving solemn and still what do you weave in the moonlight chill in the final stanza of the poem the poet finds the viewers solemn and still that is they are quiet sorrowful and silent as the poet did or does not understand as the poet does not understand what the viewers are weaving she questions the viewers what they view in the cold moonlit night white as a feather and white as a cloud we view a dead man's funeral shroud now shroud means a cloth in which a dead person is wrapped and white as a cloud means a cloud having no humidity chill means cold lifeless and here white means itself it indicates emptiness colorless white as a feather and white as a cloud we view a dead man's funeral shroud here the viewers reply the poet that they are weaving the white shroud just like a feather and a cloud for a dead man this refers to the third and the final stage of human life that is death means old age which is emotionless and lifeless like a white feather or a white cloud in this way the life which begins with the joy hope etc ends with sorrow and grief the time of the day in this poem the time of the day symbolizes the stages of life the childhood the adulthood and the old age the viewers create the garments needed for each stage at the corresponding part of the day in the morning for the newborn baby in the romantic evening for the bride and in the cold night for the dead person the colors also indicate the three stages of man's life so friends in this way we have discussed the entire poem line by line in detail we should stop here in my next video lecture i will discuss the poetic devices and the figures of speech in the poem indian weavers thank you so much have a nice day